Good evening, it's Bruce Ross Fun Actually, the show made to test our language which may have Please welcome Mitrov. Hello everyone, um, welcome back to Fire Night Showdown. Uh, I've been away for some time. <coughs> oh, um, welcome back to the show. Um, ho I hope do I everyone's doing okay. Um, the six part series is now back. And have I got another series for you? Uh, this series, I can confirm that there will be a few people joining me uh, in and out of the series. Um, we will also, uh, we have decided that we're going to do a little bit of stuff on location. Uh, more about that next week. Uh, oh, excuse me, my stomach just rumbled. Um, I hope uh, you've been watching my other videos. Um, but it's great to be here, it's great to be back uh, talking to everyone. Um, whilst I've been away, actually I've been thinking that in some way I'm everywhere. You know, I'm on YouTube. So whether you've got a mobile phone, if you have an iPhone, uh, an iPad, a computer, whatever really, I'm in your pocket the whole time. Um, so really, it's great that people are still watching me. Um, I have to say, actually, that I don't want to give too much away um, because I'd, I'd like it to be, I'd like to make it more interesting for you. Um, I'm not going to give anything away um, about the people that are going to be working with me because I don't particularly want to spoil, so you just have to wait, I'm afraid. Um, but they're a nice person um, and he or she is a good friend, so they will be here next week. Um, I've got to just pick on a couple of things. Um, we are men, well I'm a, a man, and I have to say that I had to go and do some shopping the other day, and I hate going shopping, I hate whether it's clothes shopping, food shopping, just shopping in general, I, I have no interest in it. Um, but I had to go to do some shopping the other day, and I have to say, and how busy um, Lakeside was. You know, I mean, it's... I've never been somewhere and had to queue up, I mean, I went into... Um, Primark or Primark, <laughs> however some people call it. Um, when in there, I never had to queue for so long. I mean, we were in the queue for 15 minutes. Um, you know, when the queue was like quite, quite far back. Um, I mean, I hate, I hate queuing. Um, and we were in this queue for about 15 minutes. My mate actually counted how long we were in the queue for, and by the time we got served. It was about 15 minutes, um, but something that I kind of get confused because why is it that all women love shopping? I mean, a woman can go out and shop for hours, um, and I and it's something that I get really, really bored about. And if I do go shopping with, <clears throat> you know, a lady friend, I have to. I'll, I'm not way outside the t because I'm not going to walk into a woman's clothes shop. Um, <laughs> but it, it bores me, just of going around the clothes shops it bores me to death and any like I said any shopping bores me unless of course it's for you know food in a way and drink that, that's a different story you know us men are more interested in going down the pub spending time with our partners you know all that kind of stuff you know us men are happy to sit down the pub aren't we whereas the women can go out shopping for as long as they want, but just make sure that if they do go out, they haven't got your bank details <laughs> because you're going to be severely overdrawn. And we can't have that. And you've got to be careful because if a woman, if your partner 
has your bank details, then I think you'll be you will be severely overdrawn. So just make sure, just double check the cards before they go out, because otherwise there'll be a hefty bill, and I don't particularly think you're going to want to want to be paying for it. Um, you know, and, and also, I mean, talking about you know about your partners. Um, I'm sorry if some of you don't agree with me on this one, but I personally I I agree. Um, or I have this vision that I don't think you should go out clubbing with your partners. Um, now I know some of you may not agree with that. Fair enough, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Um, but for me, I personally feel that if you're going out with a partner, especially to a nightclub, I'd say you personally are kind of asking for, for trouble. Um, you know, but it, it's everyone's different. Um, I mean, if, I mean, if you have you know a good relationship with your partner, then you know, then you obviously go you know go out clubbing. Um, but I, if you haven't, you know, a lot of people argue over the smallest of things, and that will mainly happen if you're out in a nightclub. If you're surrounded by well, obviously, it's only by strangers, but you know, I mean, when I've never been out with my partners to nightclubs, um, the fact that well, I've never lost them actually, but I think I will do actually. I'll ask if, if she wants to come out clubbing with me. Well, she actually made her mind up and said she would come with me anyway. So, um, everyone has a, everyone has a different opinion. Well, like I, and I've got to say that, I, and I, I know a lot of people, or some people do it, but not as much as me. When I go, when I go out clubbing, I I feel the need, you know, and I and I do it just to let people know that I'm okay because I don't want. You know, when I know that some people sit at home and just look at my, just, you know, refresh the page on Facebook and everyone can see what people are doing. And I feel the need, I just have to update everyone and let them know. Um, and when I, when I go out, I constantly text Facebook saying where I am or what I'm doing. There's no harm in it. Um, And I don't particularly think people particularly want to know where I am, but I'm just being friendly for I'm just letting people know, just letting the world of Facebook know. I mean, only people that know me can see, so, you know, no one's going to turn up that I don't know and start talking to me randomly. Well, and I talk to the people randomly, but, you know, I don't, you can talk to me, I, I'm not going to say or do anything, <laughs> you know, but but some people won't, you know, because obviously some people go out, some people just kind of keep themselves to themselves, that's what I tend to do, because then there's no trouble, so every, every, every time I seem to go out, clubbing, some, or, well, not even clubbing, parties, wherever it is, someone in my presence always seems to argue. It doesn't matter who it is, just somebody will always argue when they're around me. I don't know why, I don't know if it's me. You know, I, mean, I, I don't I don't go asking for trouble, so I'm not quite sure really how people start arguing, but but hey, it doesn't matter, does it? We can obviously I think we you know, maybe it could be me. Maybe me just being there starts an argument. Um, but well, because as far as I'm concerned I'm, I'm enjoying myself and they can people can argue my presence if they want, it just you know, 'cause now I just get to a point and I just think I d I don't I don't really care. I just sort of you know, do my own thing. So that's you know 
because I, I think, like I said in the last series, if you get involved in people's relationships, then you have, you know, a big, big issue. You know, because they start spreading loads of crap. Um, you know, when I mean, my ex-girlfriend, we split up because everyone was spreading loads of rumours about us that weren't true. And I think it got to a point where we we split up because you can't you can't you can't have a relationship if it's not based on trust. And you know if you you know if you go out clubbing and you and you've got a relationship that's not based on trust, then clearly you know you would know that something was going to kick off with either partner. So, like I said, I, I don't particularly think that it's a good idea to kind of go out clubbing with, with, with your partner because, you know, there will be a lot of arguments, but it's, it's, up, it's up to you, you know. So, you know, if everyone can do their own thing. So, but I just, for me, I just don't feel that it's a good idea. Uh, oops, just uh, you know, but but no, it's uh, no, life's good at the moment. I've got to say, actually, um, everything's kind of okay. Um, I had a nice conversation. Um, with a few mates and I think a lot of things have sort of cleared up but we'll have to wait and see I think how it's going to sort of plan out but everything is good so <clears throat> you know I can't really report actually you're saying there's nothing going on uh, I bumped into my community support officer friend the other day there's one community support officer who goes around my area and every single time I see him, he kind of, he says to me, I won't ask you again. I've given him my name. I go, oh, okay, I won't ask you again. Every time I see him, he asks me. It's like, hello, I have spoken to you before. You know where I live, so you can stop asking me. And I can understand, you know, he's, he's just doing his job. You know, like what they're supposed to do. So, I can't really complain to him, but... But he's, you know, I am the same person that you saw two weeks ago. I think that I understand a lot of people, you know, not everyone's memory is good. You know, I mean, I've got my goldfish. Although I just, you know, and I've just remembered, you know, a few things. You know, it's coming back to me slowly. But in general, my my memory is like a goldfish. You tell me something, and I just completely forget it. Not that I'm saying I don't listen, just I tend I tend to forget quite a lot of things. Um, but I'm not ill or anything. I just just have a really really bad memory. Like you know, not, well, a lot of people have a bad memory, but me, I just tend to forget things that second you've told me. I just tend to forget it. I think, I think I'm digging myself a hole here actually with someone in particular so I'll just keep my mouth shut I think it's probably a good idea so um, anyway it's time for me to go now um, I'll be back with you next week um, and I'm going to leave you to think um, about who my new co-host could be they are a lovely, kind, caring person. Oh, excuse me, your voice went then. Kind, caring person, and they are someone that I love to bits. I'll leave you with that, and I'll let you think about it. You'll find out next week. Um, all that's left for me to say is, if you've missed out on any of my shows, then shame on you. See you later. And Mitchell returns next week here on YouTube.